There are countless different reasons as to why Salt Bay has developed one of the worst reputations in media history. However, we'll be looking at the lawsuits, the scandals he's been involved in, and most notably, his embarrassing behavior during the 2022 FIFA World Cup. What makes the situation even more interesting is that at first, Salt Bay's low reputation actually had nothing to do with the previous points mentioned, but was a result of his particular rise to fame. Ever since Salt Bay blew up in January of 2017, he wouldn't be viewed any more than a living meme who gained popularity for the dumbest reason ever, sprinkling salt down his forearm in a goofy and unorthodox way. Within 24 hours, the post had been viewed almost 2.4 million times, allowing Salt Bay to lay the groundwork for his now billion dollar restaurant empire. This post single handedly stamped Salt Bay's name and image into the internet forever, allowing him more opportunities to spread his brand. He has made mainstream appearances on TV shows and created his own spices, kitchen cutlery, and sauces. However, a wave of negative reviews came with this new surge of exposure throughout the media. One user on Reddit would comment, Charging people ridiculous prices for the simplest mid-quality food, he may be a talentless chef but is a very talented scammer. A New York Post article with the headline, Salt Bay's Underwhelming Steakhouse is a Ripoff, would further describe how Nisret's Steakhouse was nothing but a massive disappointment. Turkish flavors were scarce, Ottoman steak failed to sufficiently tenderize the shoe leather tough ribeye for extra fun, it was loaded with gruesome globs of fat. Nisret Steakhouse London also told a similar story, with customers berating the 2.5 star rated restaurant in London. I wish there are zero stars. Why so expensive? Just for hype? Another writes, bang average steak, way, way, way overpriced. It's obvious that the number one consensus was Salt Bay's restaurants were filled with nothing but overpriced, mediocre food. I mean, this is hard to disagree with considering a single steak is priced at $1,100, which the majority of people would describe as flavorless and overcooked. One user by the name of Septimus Prime expressed his thoughts with the caption, 44 pounds for 4 Red Bulls? Is Salt Bay okay? I mean, there is no problem with fine dining, it's just hard to grasp the fact that people would spend that much money to be viewed a certain way or portray a lifestyle on social media. In addition to the thousands of negative reviews on Nisret's incredibly overpriced food, he found himself in a whole different load of trouble. In 2022, five employees sued Salt Bay with a lawsuit over labor violations at one of his Manhattan restaurants. According to the New York Post, the lawsuit accuses Nisret of misclassifying the workers as managers to avoid paying them overtime. At the same time, they worked 70 plus hours per week in the New York City Steakhouse. Each of the five employees was paid a week weekly salary of $1,125 regardless of the time worked. Just three months after the previous scandal, Salt Bay was forced to pay back $230,000 to ex-waiters after being accused of conning them out of their tips. The tips legally belonged to the front of house workers, however, it was said Nisret would fire these employees once they brought up the missing funds. In the same year, it was revealed that Salt Bay had faced a massive copyright lawsuit involving the artwork of two US citizens. Once again, according to the New York Post, Nisret Goche had been hit with a hefty $5 million copyright copyright infringement lawsuit by William Hicks and Joseph Lorado. Each of them alleged Salt Bay used their work worldwide without permission. Both artists claimed to have been hired by Salt Bay to create a mural of him in his signature salt sprinkling pose. However, in 2020, Hicks discovered that Salt Bay had used their artwork on window displays, menus, and even on takeout bags globally without consent. Soon enough, Salt Bay came to be universally despised by almost everyone, especially among those in the culinary industry. One user would state, As a chef who's been struggling the past few years, it's so disheartening to see people like Salt Bay being taken seriously. He's a hack, a fraud, he steals your money, in which several other responses express their same hate towards Salt Bay. As a whole, we can all agree that Salt Bay is down there amongst the least respected celebrities of all time, and when comparing him to another celebrity chef like Gordon Ramsay, the contrast between each of their charisma is dramatically different. Not only does Gordon Ramsay hold the title for the world's most famous chef, he also ranks third among the world's wealthiest chefs with a net worth of over $220 million. His blunt and upfront attitude is instantly recognizable as a part of his brand. However, Gordon still manages to balance his content with some comedic tone. What are you? 
An idiot sandwich. Gordon's restaurants have been awarded a total of 17 Michelin stars, as opposed to Nisret's zero Michelin stars. While Gordon is a widely respected celebrity chef, Salpe has reached a point where it's safe to say that he's down there with the least respected. On December 18, 2022, one of the greatest football matches took place during the World Cup final in Qatar. Messi finally solidified his name in sports history, leading Argentina to their first World Cup championship since 1986. Argentina players were celebrating and the world was watching. However, did you see it? What on earth is Salt Bay doing on the pitch celebrating with Argentinian players? See if you could figure out the reason for Salt Bay's controversy in the following clips. One of the most trending topics over the past few weeks always included the following words Salt Bay, embarrassing, and cringe. If you go to Salt Bay's Instagram, you'll find many pictures of him holding the World Cup trophy as if he had any contribution to Argentina's win. In one photo, he was seen biting another player's medal. He was also seen pestering Lionel Messi. I mean, you could already tell that all of the players looked visibly uncomfortable when Salt Bay started grabbing the trophy from their hands. And according to the rules, only a highly exclusive list of people are allowed to touch the World Cup trophy, including the winners, coaches, FIFA officials, and heads of state. However, it's obvious that Salt Bay is not included in this list of people. It's not hard to understand why Salt Bay received a lot of backlash. Imagine working your whole life, grinding each day to get closer to your goal, and when you finally reach it, some entitled celebrity walks on the pitch and seals your moment. And when looking back at Nisret's Steakhouse reviews, one particular one-star review stood out to me which writes, The owner slash chef was acting really weird. He was marching around the restaurant shouting, I've won the World Cup, and then later asked to take a selfie with our cutlery. Salt Bay has become another example of an internet celebrity blinded by their cloud-chasing endeavors, resulting in the most cringiest and talentless personality who became famous for no reason.